Just like mechanical systems, our behavior has no single cause. God gives people good blood and bad blood, and there's an end to it. Our behavior is generated by the many interacting variables that we encounter. The environment can never be the same for any two individuals. And that, that um, really counters claims that people make when they say, well, you know, I have three children and they were all raised in the same environment, but they all turned out so different. Well, by that definition, the same environment refers to the house they lived in or the parents they had. There's no such thing as the same environment. If you have two kids, one is four years old and you play with them and the seven-year-old is standing there with her lower list, you, know, you say, what's the matter? The kid goes like that. And then when you're making jealousy and envy, that's where it comes from. But from a scientific perspective, the environment really consists of the moment-to-moment -moment interactions between your behavior and those events, both inside and outside you. So the environment is in constant flux. You put the young kid on your lap and the older kid. Say, I love you both. You never play with any one kid or have a favorite. You say, you can go to a movie, but you can't because you didn't do your homework. When she falls down the stairs, you have a grin on your face. You know what I mean? Not that you're bad, but you feel you've been mistreated.